Welcome back, everybody. So let's talk about what dental hygiene school, college, university is the best and how to apply to get into the dental hygiene program. And I'm going to share with you what I did as well. So a quick side note was I actually took the dental hygiene program twice because my first school was not accredited and it shut down. The owner of the school literally walked away. They declared bankruptcy and we were all screwed. Basically, I have other videos talking about that on my YouTube channel. Do a search for it if you want to learn more. But the second school I went to was fantastic and I wish I went to it right away um, because it was amazing and it couldn't just shut down. So let's talk about how you can apply for the program and how to really tell which school might be better than the others. I get this question all the time. So normally people apply to the dental hygiene program out of high school. You do need really good marks, math, sciences, Englishes, that's what they want to see. We're talking 80 to 90%. In high school, I did not get those marks. I did have high 80s in most of my classes, maybe a couple 90s, but I did not get 90% across the board. So when I applied to several schools for the dental hygiene program at a, at a local community college or some that weren't too far away, they all said no. They all basically said declined, you are not accepted. And it was because my marks simply weren't high enough. So what I did was I applied to a private dental hygiene college. I suggest doing this. Private colleges are amazing. Typically, you do pay a little bit more. It really depends on where you go. It could be a couple thousand dollars more, or it could be $10,000 more, or it could be the same. It really does vary by area. I may be paid $5,000 more than if I went to a community college, but it was worth it to me because I got accepted into the private college where all of the other community colleges would not accept me. So private colleges are just simply run differently, but they will accept anybody. Your high school marks don't matter that much. You do have to take a short entrance exam on math, sciences, English. People always ask me how to study for that. I didn't study for it. I just took it and thankfully they accepted me because I did pass the entrance exam. I don't remember my mark, but trust me, it was not a very good mark. I just remember passing it. And typically for private colleges, you will also be interviewed. This might seem scary to you, but it's really not. They just want to get to know you, I think. I literally just went into a room. I talked to one person. I think the program director at the time, they sat there with like a clipboard. This is my makeshift clipboard. And they just asked me questions like, so why do you want to be a dental hygienist? Why do you want to come to this school? And those are easy. They don't ask you skill-based questions. Whereas in a community college, if you go to apply, you are accepted among hundreds and thousands of people, but you won't, they don't have time to interview, if that makes sense. So I highly recommend a private dental hygiene college. I went to a private dental assisting college as well when I became a dental assistant because it was the same thing. No other community colleges would accept me because of my 80% in high school, which is fairly high, but they just, you know, the higher the marks, the better, and they will accept those with the higher marks. So please look into a private college. They are completely worth it. Now, talking about college or university, there are some programs where dental hygiene is a university-based program that's up to you. I personally didn't care. Why would I want to spend more money to go to university just to say I attended university? Nobody cares. When you apply for a job, they don't care what school you go to as long as you obviously passed and you have a, a diploma to prove it, a certificate. They don't care what school you went to. So people ask me, should I pay more to go to the university? They do offer more, you know, classes. You learn more stuff. That's what they say. No, don't pay more unless for some reason you really want to say you went to university but who cares? Nobody does. I went to college, you guys. I never went to university. Look where I am now. I have my own mobile dental hygiene practice. So you don't have to go to university unless you want to. Now, let's say you're applying. It is after high school. You are in college for another program, but then you decide to become a dental hygienist or a dental assistant. 
again, look into private colleges. They don't just accept students in September or the summertime. Typically, they have a new program every four months. So if you didn't get in the first time for whatever reason, or let's say you just missed that cutoff date, then you can apply three or four months later. I remember when I decided to become a dental assistant, it was a weird time, like November. Um, I was out of high school. I took a little break to work. And then I'm like, you know what? I want to get back into things again. So I applied to all of the private colleges and their next class was like a month later. They accepted me and I'm like, oh my God, I have a month to prepare. This is amazing. So you don't have to think, oh, I have to wait a full year till they accept people again. That's another nice thing about private colleges. A little side note, though, private colleges are typically you do have to achieve really good marks to stay in the program. I remember both for, for my dental assisting private college and dental hygiene, we did have to maintain a 70% in every class or they literally kick you out. So you do have to get good marks, but that's easy when you're learning what you want to learn. I received honors in both um, because I just, I was so happy and I, and I was excited to learn. I didn't like high school very much. So my marks weren't very good because I really didn't like it. But college, when you're learning what you want to, it really changes things. I hope this video helped you guys. If you're wondering about the cost, it does vary everywhere. When I took the dental assisting program, my cost was about $25,000. Oh no, sorry, sorry you guys. My cost was $12,000 for the full year. Now it's closer to $30,000. Times have changed for sure. It's closer to $30,000. Um, for my dental hygiene program, I paid $45,000 for the 18 months and might be more now. And, th and these are me going to private colleges just to give you guys an idea of the cost, but I really can't do that because it's been so long since I've attended both, but just to give you guys an idea. Anyway, as I was saying, I hope you guys like this video. Comment below if you need anything and please click like, that does help me and my channel. And if you haven't yet, make sure to click subscribe because there are new videos every Monday and Thursday, all things dental. So thank you guys again. Have a great day and talk to you soon.